morning students today we will discuss about introduction of international trade this video we will see uh, definition classification similarities features advantages disadvantages and problems before that we should know the meaning for internal trade international trade see internal trade it is nothing but the trade taking place within the country or trade or exchange of goods and services within the country next the international trade means exchange of goods and services between the countries or uh, two or more countries next uh, definition according to elsworth defines international trade consists of transaction between residents of different countries residents of different countries means two or more countries next uh, let us see uh, the introduction see trade see trade is nothing but purchase and uh, sales of goods and services see trade means what that is exchange of goods and services see goods it includes what commodities that is a uh, pen pencil etc next services means the activities provided by other parties or um, that is it uh, for example that is doctors insurance banking services these are all services let us see the different types of trade there is internal trade and international trade under this internal trade there are two types of trade uh, there is a wholesale trade and a retail trade see wholesale trade means the purchase of goods from other parties okay that is the whole wholesale trade or purchase the commodities at a bulk in nature or larger quantities see uh, retail trade means sale of goods that is in a smaller quantities sale of goods in a smaller quantities next uh, international trade or otherwise it is called foreign trade now let us discuss the classification of international trade so uh, which includes classification it includes export trade import trade buying goods and services from foreign countries and entry port trade first export trade that is export trade means sale of goods and services to foreign countries sale that is the main thing sale of goods and services to foreign countries next uh, import trade which includes that is buying that is export trade means sale of goods import trade means buying goods and services from foreign countries and another classification for international trade is entry port trade that is nothing but buying goods from one country and exporting to other countries with or without further processing okay buying goods from one country and exporting to other countries with or without further uh, processing now let us discuss the similarities between internal and uh, international trade see which includes it is it, that is both trades involve exchange of goods and services transactions are voluntary one and specialization see specialization means what for example india is agricultural country so we are specialized in agricultural commodities say agricultural commodities means what it is uh, paddy rice wheat uh, etc next uh, the important objectives for both traders earn profits and uh, next one achieve cost efficiency that is uh, um, another similarities between internal and international trade and to, to satisfy the uh, human wants or customer satisfaction and uh, uh, introduction of new products that is introduce new innovation for the products and further are important uh, similarities for the internal and international trade means satisfy the needs of the 
customer that is customer satisfaction is very essential for the internal and international trade now, now let us discuss the features of international trade see the first one what that is so uh, uh, immobility of factors features the main thing or first one immobility of factors that is so uh, immobility of factors it relates to laws relating to immigration and uh, citizenship uh, restrict mobility of labor between countries capital flows and also restricted by some countries and heterogeneous market see heterogeneous market uh, means what that is different so each market in different in terms of language customs preferences customer needs legal systems everything next uh, different political units so international trade take place between countries ruled by different political units their policies ideologies and the aims are different another feature it is different current currencies so in each and every countries the currencies differ so the trade takes place between the countries having different currencies it depends upon availability of foreign exchange and exchange rate play a important role in international trade and uh, different national policies it is depends upon the economic social political policies followed by different countries government is differ so it is also differ from one country to another countries so the policies related to taxation export import policies currency management trade agreement is differ from countries so therefore therefore the firms engaged in international trade of for the different national policies and the differences in environment see let us uh, see the economic social political legal and natural environment countries are not same it also differ next uh, one that is importance of international trade see the main importance improves economic development increased access to get goods that means goods available for all the persons or all the uh, citizens that is increased access to goods efficient allocation of resources better usage of natural resources that means optimum or fullest utilization of natural resources and uh, benefits from economies of scale and revenue from surplus production and a uh, specialization already you have seen that is specialization means india is agricultural country so we are specialized in agricultural production it leads to improved in competition among the countries see competition increase means automatically increased employment opportunities it leads to foreign investment and a uh, higher national income higher national income means automatically it will improve the living standard of the people and international cooperation improved technologies and innovation next what are all the disadvantages of international trade see first one exhaustion of natural resources so the developing countries export their now materials to developed countries at cheaper rate okay and uh, it increases exports and uh, they exploit their natural resources to in a greater extent and the loss of agricultural producers see uh, the major disadvantages of international trade is that is agricultural producers are generally losers in international trade demand for agricultural product is less elastic and the imbalanced development in case of international trade the countries produce only those products in which they have comparative advantage therefore new industries or sectors are developed while others are neglected and the rivalry among countries rivalry means what that is competition between the countries so countries compete with each other to capture the great share for the world market it leads to rivalry among the countries and negative effect of specialization through the specialization provides many benefits 
but it has also several disadvantages the specialization in production of specific goods other industries may not be developed so it affects the industrial growth and the employment next over capacity see in the countries with the, the desire to increase the export keep increase the, increasing their production capacity so if the demand for their products is high the benefit and uh, the demands uh, falls the production capacity would become ideal next uh, disadvantages is there is no benefit to developing countries many countries state that international trade benefit only for developed countries and the developed countries uh, face developing countries to open their markets but do not allow imports from them next dependence that is uh, interdependence between the countries so the countries become dependent on other because of international trade so they do not aim to achieve self sufficiency and uh, import of harmful products see you no know, the harmful products drug alcohol these are all the harmful products due to international trade the harmful products like chemicals may be imported they this may be affect the health and the welfare of the population and the spread of economic evils that means it create the economic evils create interdependence and the interconnectivity between the countries so economic problems faced by one country may spread to other countries affecting the entire world and uh, price increases that is goods price it will be increased so some countries export most of their domestic products and uh, without considering domestic demand it creates shortage in their home country leads to price increases and uh, dumping dumping means what uh, that is developed countries export products to developing countries at a very low price even then their cost so their objective is to wipe out the domestic industry and uh, control their uh, market so this is known as dumping and the balance of payment problems when country facing the bop problems it increase in import products from the developed countries so but their exports are less okay next affect welfare of the domestic population next what are the problems of international trade the major problems of international trade is intense in competition say number of competitors and the intensity of competition is very high in global markets so new competitors can emerge from any corner of the world and uh, impact of global factors firms which are operating in global markets are impacted by global factors events happening in one corner of the world may impact business in other countries next uh, sudden changes see the changes in the global environment can happen suddenly business managers have to be prepared to meet the these sudden changes they should have contingency plans ready to help them and hope with sudden changes and another problems of international trade shorter product life cycle due to the technological improvement and changing customer expectation it is the important have resulted in shorter uh, product life cycle companies have to sell more units within short duration to earn profit next uh, high investment in r&d r&d means what research and development the continuous improvement of products the process there is uh, goods and services have become essential it requires continuous focus and investment in research and development another problems that is creativity and innovation so the creativity and innovation is very essential but in the open environment investment of resources and encouragement of employees to work on new ideas are, are key factors next new product development customers are expect 
every day that is novelty and do not want to use the same product for a long time therefore the companies need to introduce new product and services at a regular intervals another uh, problems focus on continuous quality improvement uh, and uh, improve uh, the efficiency currency fluctuation these are all the problems and another problems for the international trade that is cultural differences that is cultural activities our culture is varies from country to country it varies across countries any wrong step would hurt the sentiments of the public affecting the company is success and managing multi country workforce that is global firms have employees from many countries so employees expectations culture customs traditions religions etc differ so the managers need to understand cultural differences and and uh, be sensitive uh, employees feelings and uh, expectations next to protection of intellectual property see we are living in knowledge economy so intellectual property is more valuable than physical property next ethical functioning the customers prefer to transact with ethical and responsible companies the challenge for global companies is not only to follow ethical practices but also ensure that everyone connected with the company ethical is ethical next choice of entry mode see the mode of entry to foreign market has to chosen with great thought and caution so the companies need to identify the suitable mode of entry for each product for example china foreign companies can operate only with the chinese partner in many sectors therefore the most suitable mode of entry is setting up the joint venture with a chinese company next selection of right location generally the global firms have to choose the place where they would produce assemble and market so the multiple factors have to be taken into account while taking this in important decision oh, these are all the what it is complexities or problems of international trade okay thank you